guys, what's up? This vlog is going to be about a casting workshop I went to in LA this past Sunday and the Sunday before. So I'd never been to a casting workshop before in LA and I wanted to kind of tell you what my experience was. The first Sunday that we met for the workshop, we got drama sides and the second Sunday that we met up, we got comedic sides. You get provided a reader and she also operates the camera. So before you start, if you're gonna sit or if you're gonna walk into frame or if you're gonna move a little bit, you let your reader know so that she can adjust the camera accordingly and kind of has an idea of what you're gonna do. Um, and as you're being recorded and you do your mock audition in front of the casting director, everyone else is in the room too. So everyone else is watching you, FYI. Um, I was like the second to last person to go up and when I went up I was a little nervous but once I got started I felt okay um, so I did the the scene the first time around just how I prepared it so like everyone else she gave some feedback and she also gave some adjustments for me to make and my biggest one was uh, to kind of speed up how I was talking because the uh, scene that I got was from a show that's um, it's a procedural kind of show so you know like something like suits or something where people talk really fast um, because that's kind of the show it's very sharp it's fast it's you know boom 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 um, <clears throat> and also I got some other I got another adjustment too and I, I think it was something about like because my character in the scene is like super guilty and is basically lying through her teeth and I think the feedback she gave me as well was you know just play it off like you're completely telling the truth like I shouldn't like, don't play it off like you're kind of lying, which I kind of was playing it like that. So that was like my major feedback notes. Um, so that was the first meetup. The second meetup was a little bit more interesting. Um, I was planning on filming on the way there. Actually, the reason why I didn't do it the first time I drove up was honestly I completely forgot. And I think because I was a little nervous my brain was just like couldn't just like couldn't think about even filming so the second time around I was way less nervous but the second time I drove up I was so sick I got sick like the day before I kind of had like a dry throat and even now I'm still recovering I still have this really nasty annoying cough and my voice sounds still a little bit raspy to me a little off but anyway <clears throat> I kind of had like a dry throat the day before and I didn't feel right but it was still okay I wake up the morning of the workshop and I I puke because I feel so bad my throat is on fire and I'm like holy fudge like what am I supposed to do? Um, <laughs> my husband, the state that he is, <clears throat> knew how much I wanted to go and he was like, hey, I'll even drive you to LA. I'll be your chauffeur and I'll wait for you. And I was like, oh my gosh, he's so nice. Um, but <clears throat> I was thinking about that as an option, but before I left, I was really feeling better. I really was and I was like, no, you know what? I can handle it. I can drive, I can do it. So I said, no worries. I'm feeling better, I think the drugs are helping. First, I get in the car, everything's fine, and then as I get closer and closer to LA, <clears throat> my body starts to ache. My whole body from head to toe is just this throbbing, aching feeling. You know like when you have a fever and your whole body is just like this throbbing pain? That's what I had. So, <laughs> obviously I didn't feel it because I was just feeling terrible. I get there early, I nap in my car because I'm like, I feel so bad. I'm like, I hope I don't vomit. <laughs> I really hope I get through this. And I also hope I don't suck. Um, so I actually took a nap, which helped tremendously for when I went to the workshop, I felt okay again. I managed to actually get through it. Actually watched the, the clip I was like wow I don't look sick at all it's amazing I look totally fine to 
totally fine. You couldn't tell that my whole body was actually... Turn crazy. left onto Mount Elephant Drive. Or that I was, like, delirious. <clears throat> I was just happy <laughs> that I at least did what I came to do. After class, I felt absolutely horrendous. Driving back home was absolute misery. My whole body got even more achy, believe it or not, and I was sitting like this. I was like just trying any position that would make me feel comfortable. People, if they looked in my window, would probably think like, what is wrong with her? Like, why is she sitting like that? I was like trying to stretch my body somehow to um, make it not hurt anymore. Okay, so I realized I actually never finished the vlog. So this is my official finish to um, my vlog about my casting workshop experience. Um, I changed shirts in the meantime, sorry. Um, one thing I did forget to mention earlier about the casting workshop I went to is that there's always a Q&A portion. So during our first meetup, we had a Q&A before we started reading our scenes. <clears throat> and then the second meetup, we did our scenes first. And then once everyone was done, um, we did like a wrap up Q&A. But yeah, that's pretty much it for me. Um, and I guess I will catch you all again later. Alrighty, bye.